way easier with the string. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, I was thinking. I thought, this not, shouldn't be that difficult. I remember that's the string. Hey, yeah. folks, you remember Al from uh, the video back in September where he bought a Model S, and there it is. And this is my friend Alec, and he's down from Ottawa, and he's never, you've never been in a Tesla. Well, not a moving one. Not no, a moving I've one? I've right. a car show one, sat in the Model X and so on. Yeah, right, and you're a BMW guy like I used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you have a Miata. What year's your Miata again? The first year, 1990. Wow. Still drive that thing, huh? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to experience a, uh, a Model S today. This is Alpha Model S. Check it out. Whoa, slippery. Yes, winter has arrived a little bit early than we'd like, but it is what it is. Yeah, so uh, uh, as far as driving a Tesla, you, uh, as long as you've got the key fob somewhere in the proximity mm -hmm. of here, you hit the brake and uh, put it into gear. Very nice thing, especially in the stop and go. Cruise control is the self steering. Oops. It nice. Oh, yeah. Sort of that's the slowest speed. one they make. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, if I take my foot off the brake, uh, sorry, off the gas, the car immediately starts to. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Old habits hard to break. <laughs> yeah. If I take my that's foot good. off. That's good. I didn't catch that until you were crying. I don't think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, off the gas. That's right. All right, it's Alex's turn, and okay. uh, he's... I just want to make sure Alex's not that way. Yeah, he's a little taller than me. Can I move the car for the seat forward? Yes, you can. Yeah, so the controls are on the side of the seat. Reach down to the side of the seat, and you'll yeah. feel the standard controls. So there's two of them. There's... That's good. No, oh, it's quite comfortable. The seat's got a nice uh, groove Bolst in it. Bolstering, nice bolstering. yes. Yeah. Okay, that's so very put nice. Put on the brake, and then put her into drive. You're there. Yep. Well, it moves very smoothly off. Eh? Mm -hmm. I was afraid I was going to sort of <laughs> <laughs> dump the clutch, as it were. Mm -hmm. Transmission has that. Well, yeah. See the regen? Yeah. 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 So I the, don't even the, touch the brakes, actually. That's yeah. right. So the trick with regen is you'll very quickly learn to feather it and time it in such a way yeah. that you don't really have to use the brakes, or very minimally. Yeah, just to confuse the guy behind me. <laughs> well, the brake light does come on. Oh, does it? Yes, okay. it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was going to say that's... Uh, yeah. No, that is People definitely wait a concern. for the brake light. And yeah, no, they've they've got it in such a way that at certain speeds that the brake light will come on. Come I don't on. want to look around and figure this again. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's something you have to get used to. Yeah, I just turned it on, yeah, so you'll be great. okay. Go ahead, stop on it. There's another Tesla coming up beside us. On the left side, I see it in the mirror. Back there? No, it's a Mercedes. Oh, is it? In that case, I'll cut them off. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this is Toronto, folks. This is the normal speed that everybody drives around here. Uh, 130. Yeah, yeah. No, that's normal. Yeah, you're just keeping up with traffic. Yeah, exactly. So there's yeah, a so short stop. Three, so pull it. a medium size one. So and pull, pull it. it towards yourself twice. There you go. Autopilot's on. Okay, so it's, okay. In, it's in speed control. Keep my foot. Up but ready. <laughs> you don't have to do anything now. Let go of yeah. the steering wheel. Oh, really? That's right beside this Mercedes, oh, yeah. I should let it go. Don't worry about it. You're okay. Okay, well, just, this guy's probably going to cut in like that. Just keep your, just keep your eyes on the road and yeah, keep I'm it doing, doing I'm, I'm ready to go. That's bad. You see in your screen how it's following the blue lines? Yeah, I'm actually looking at the road, but anyway, okay. yes, I do as I yeah, glance yeah, down, so right? That's your autopilot. It's keeping you in the lane. And it's traffic rear cruise control, so it's maintaining a distance between you and Now that car distance was set by when I turned that on, is that correct? Well if you twist the knob on the end you can I set the distance. Yeah. yeah, you can set the distance between But the default would be that where the distance is when I first set it on, correct. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So you like regular cruise control, wherever you are when you set it, that's what it assumes you want. And you right? can get a pretty good idea how nice this is on the highway to have when you're on long trips. That's where I'd really see using this, right? Like I just came down from uh, from yeah, Ottawa sure. yesterday, so it was basically about uh, 400 kilometers, 300 miles on the uh, on the 401, yeah. the expressway. So yeah, it would have been, and it was nighttime, and all the roads were clean, but always trucks and everything all over the place, right? So that would be very nice. Mm -hmm. Now it's, t it's warning you now to hold the steering wheel. Okay. Yeah. Just, give, just it give it a little very twist. Very gentle. Yeah. It's there you go. You're okay. You're okay. It just wants to know that you're still alive. You're a quick learner. <laughs>
not have a heart attack or anything. You're paying attention and not drinking your. Plug in my big app, I'll plug in my Apple Watch here and <laughs> sync it with this thing so it knows I'm alive. That's Follow right. my heartbeat. That's right. That lane change. So if you uh, hit left turn. Whoops! I just came off something. Yeah, don't touch the don't touch the gas or the Sorry. accelerator. Just. <laughs> you got it. Uh, you no, that. No. Old habits die hard. I know. I know. Yeah, just just hit just the turn, left just, turn signal. Just to put your turn signal on. And let go of the steering wheel. I hit the gas. Don't do anything. Oh my! Did turn off your blinker now. There you go. Yeah, for sure. Turn off the blinker. This is one of the things where, as an older man, you don't want to leave your left blinker on. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Well, I'm, I'm in the idiot. passing lane. This is as far as it goes, right? <laughs> that would be an interesting challenge, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you really want to go over into the ditch over here and ride along? This is speed, yeah. but it doesn't have the steering. So you have cruise control right now, but but uh, auto steering is not on because you're, right. you're um, it's not blue, right? Right. Yeah, I see that. If so you pull back twice on it again, it'll activate autopilot again. Yeah. So it's two things. It's auto steer, which is the blue icon, and, and, and then your cruise control. Two cruise different. Control. Yes, two different things. I want to do this in the middle of traffic in the downtown area right In stop and go traffic, it's actually quite nice to have. Yeah, traffic where cruise control part. Though. Yeah. And actually, the first time I ever used uh, uh, autopilot, that happened to me too. It was a van, and I and I didn't like that. I felt it was too, you know, too close. So I just you know turned it off. Or whatever. That'll happen occasionally. Yeah. yeah. But it does mean you have to you do have to be vigilant still. Well, yeah, that's the whole point. This is not a self-driving car; it's uh, driver assistance. That's the difference. Eventually, it'll be self-driving for a few dollars more. For a few dollars more. Yeah, this is great. This is it's nice, nice, isn't it? It's very nice. Don't you wish your BMW had this? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> My BMW is also convertible, so. Don't well, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, now this thing's doing that, so I, it just wants me to touch the wheel. That's all. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what happened. So it does that, what, every five minutes or something? Um, three minutes or so, whatever. A lot of people will actually just keep... Yeah, there's your lane change happening. And once you're in the lane, just cancel the blinker. There you go. See? Yeah, just getting ready to make another lane change. I can see it. <laughs> actually, no, it only does one lane change at a time. So once you're in the lane, it won't move until you cancel and start it up again. If this guy cuts in front of me, how much trouble am I in? You'll get a warning. The, th the sensors will tell you... Boop, 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 boop. And then what do I do? Hit the brakes? Well, you got to be vigilant. I mean, it's not going to avoid yeah, I, I, it. I got vigilant. I can see it happening. But yeah. I like, yeah. You know, the question is what do I, whether I grab it or it's taken care of. It. Well, you're supposed to be in control, so you are supposed okay. to act on, on its behalf. Yeah. See, see how far you can go without touching the brakes. I got to hurry up. Go for it. I got to hurry up. So you got to learn to feather it. See how it breaks. Now that's. And yeah. now, now you can see that the uh, you're no longer limited for. Uh, the yeah. amount of, so uh, on here it would have a dotted line yeah. when your regen is not available to you. Okay. And now that the battery's warmed up, that goes away. So now you have full regen available to you. Now the regen is also available in the settings of the car. Um, but, but, but regenerative, standard or low. So standard means that it's strong. Low means that it's it's less. Now I just turn on your heat seater here by mistake. There we go. There we go. Everyone says heat seater, huh? Well, you need the heat seaters. Seat heaters. Seat heaters? Yeah. All right. That's my, no, dis no, no. That's my dyslexia. No, everyone does that. <laughs> I do it all the time. My wife does it all the time. I don't know what that is. But <laughs> the gentleman that uh, owned the car that I rented was excellent. Yeah. yeah. Was that in the U.S. or here? No, it was here. Oh, in cool. Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've got an, um, a recommendation number if anybody ever needs it. <laughs> i just take you up on <laughs> that. It was Ryan's, Ryan's Tesla. Ryan's Tesla. Well, thumbs up for Ryan out there. Yeah, well, the... he convinced me. Yeah, uh, well, that's what it takes. <laughs> yeah, so we, we took a, uh, a trip to Ottawa mm -hmm. and uh, along the 4, 401, and uh, we came back through Algonquin Park, and it was fine. It, uh, there was a, we used to chat mill in Ottawa, yeah. and it got all, all the way through to the Tesla Supercharger in Huntsville. Say that again. Uh, it's wonderful. That what, the braking, the regenerative? Regenerative braking, like coming that, huh? up like they're going, and I'm just coming up to the left turn, and just 
Slows me right uh, down exactly what I need to do. He's getting used to it. He likes it. It's he just likes a, it, Mikey. He likes it. It's, <laughs> no, it's, it's just that it's the right. It's not over-breaking. It's not under-breaking. It just brings you down at a reasonable, civilized rate. Yeah. You know? yeah. Once you get used to it and you learn to time it, then it's a very nice thing to have. Well, I understood the concept of regenerative braking. What's interesting here is the actual design of the application the of it in such a way that, you know, I mean, you can always hit the brakes and send everybody flying forward or something. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the the extent to which you're you're getting that, it's just it's a nice level of braking. It's not like slamming you into something, and it's uh, it's not leaving you with a lot of extra manual braking to do. It's mm -hmm. very 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 nicely paced out. The leaves blowing mm -hmm. around and everything like that. Yeah, it's sort of the fall. Is it two ways? So I'm just ready to yeah, jerk just, it over yeah, in case. This is a wide car. You gotta be. Yeah. yeah. This is a nice spot here in the city. Some geese down there. Whoa! Is it coming on there? Oh, big house. Looks like it's got an observatory at the top end. Oh, see the dome? oh, no, I missed that. Yeah. I remember the earlier days of them when, you know, headlights, one, one would pop up, one wouldn't because the servo motor was a problem. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. The seat wouldn't go forward anymore, <laughs> wouldn't go back anymore. And my, uh, well, there's something to be said. You know, modern cars have so many moving parts and so many little bits and stuff. It's just more stuff to break. You know, it's like... Um, you know, modern refrigerators and appliances. I mean, there was a day we used to buy them and they would last basically a whole lifetime. Yeah. You well, know, it doesn't anymore. Nothing's made to last anymore. Yeah, you bought, so. bought them in a, as an asset and they, you know, they, they, you would put them in your will, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I know. My uncle has um, 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 a fridge uh, from the 40s or the 50s and he's got it in his garage and other than changing the uh, freon in it it's still running to this day and it's it works perfect i mean it's not as efficient it's as, really as, as modern ones that's that's the selling pitch finally is it's like you know, the new ones are much more efficient right? yeah yeah, yeah. The but the but they're not built to last years. anymore yeah. so what do you think would you buy this i like it very much like <laughs> that's a non-answer alec well <laughs> come on i told you the next thing i got i get has to have a hatchback i've got two convertibles and a uh, two and a Cord coupe, which uh -huh. has a tiny trunk, and then the uh, the uh, TSX, which is a four door sedan. And we moved into a new house, and you know, I just need something bigger to put all the stuff in. Sure. I'm looking for a hatchback. So. Well, when we get around to the outside tour of this car, you'll see how much cargo volume it actually has compared to what you're used to. So this is a truck too, is what you're saying? Well, I don't. I would put it as a <laughs> truck, but it has a lot of room compared to other cars in the same class. Yeah. It's certainly very tempting. It's a very, it's a very, very nice car. I think it might have been too close. Yeah, you're really close. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, sorry. It'll do it. Park here. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, technology failed us, Tesla. Come on. Damn it! Am I expected to park this car myself? <laughs> Next, you'll have me having to yeah. put on my own turn signals. Good okay, enough. well, good enough. Anyway, that's. Uh, oh yeah, we want yeah, to give you a little. The, uh, show them the front and the trunk there, sir. Okay. Let's see what the deal is. Trunk. Uh, Controls. Front trunk, bottom left. No, I don't think so. Front, yeah, there it is. There you go. There you go. See up here. So you'll see here, Alex, you see that? That's one of the autopilot cameras. Oh yeah, nice thing. And then there's a camera there. Oh yeah. And then there's three in the front here. And then there's one in the back. Collect leaves too, do you? That's, for the or oh. that's the organ doing the box there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, yeah. I have a uh, side job, yeah. Carry hearts around. Is you don't want to just go slamming it because it's aluminum. So you want to gently put it down and then do that instead of oh, yeah, can't slamming it. You can't spell something like that in North America. What if a Ford, a Ford or GM guy can yeah. <laughs> And here you'll see the two of them. Yeah, yeah, show yeah. them the story. Yeah, it's actually pretty good, good actually. Yeah. Yeah. 
this is a holy cow. This is a leftover for when they had the, or I guess they still do have the car with the uh, two reverse facing seats yeah. for kids. Yeah, that's the footwell for them. Yeah. See the amount of room there? There? Yeah, that's it. Boy, there's a lot of back room though. Yeah, see how much room there is now? Yeah. So there you go. Well, Sleep right. in it. Do you need a hatchback? Yes. He I likes do. the hatchback. I like the hatchback. This is unique, Huge right? Because most most cars only have a hinge up to here, yeah. sedan that flips up, but this is a whole yeah, no, I hatchback. Like that. that's, yeah, yeah. That's that's great actually. Well, yeah, this is the uh, this is the charging kit you get from Tesla. It's got a Sort of a mini version of what Trevor's got on his wall. Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's an adapter here. You can put a standard uh, uh, 110 volt, 15 amp yeah. end on here, or you can put the uh, 240 volt, 30 amp on it. And, uh, you can uh, open that with with a, a, one of those charging wands that's hooked up. Uh, of course, that one isn't hooked up. Or on your key fob. Yeah. Or, or on, on your or the screen. Yeah. So, several yeah. different ways to open it. Just push it. So what? Is it, what? What? It's motorized. It's push really? It. It's motorized. Yeah. A little friggin' door like this. Yeah. Let's we'll push it. <laughs> what do they think of next? You'll hear the parking brake come off here in a second. The silence is eerie. <laughs> it's no noise. Let's make the fan seem louder. <laughs> Put the passenger, for example, down the center right. Yes, yeah, so you can open the doors all from the, the touch screen. You can actually control the side doors as well, the fog wing doors. If you click it again, it'll close. That's pretty nice. <laughs> what do you think of that windshield? I like it a lot. Isn't that neat? As you know, I have a couple of convertibles. Yeah. And one of the things I like with convertibles is you can see that you see things over your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this actually allows some of yeah, that, which is kind of nice. Yeah, it gives them more vision. Right? Yeah, yeah. Tap. The door has sensors, so if there's any uh, obstruction between uh, it and the closing point, it's will stop. What you should do, Alec, is, is sit in the back and operate the doors and see what happens. Yeah, you can try to use the doors. Door manually. Get my watch here. You can push the button. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll, yeah. Wait, it'll do a soft close by itself. Double tap. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the six seat interior, Alec? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, six seat is, uh, is an option. It comes yeah. as a five seat. Uh, We're looking at seven. Uh, I'm trying to debate whether the five or the seven seat. Five yeah. or seven. And on the bottom. Yes. Right here? Push it. Yeah, there you go. There's, you got some cup oh, holders yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Actually, yeah. that's And that one has cup holders in the center that, uh, console. The center console opens as well. Yeah. Nice. So lift, lift the white cover. Yeah, there exactly. you go. There you go. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. It's nice. Wow. It's like being in a spaceship, anybody? <laughs> it's very nice. Yeah, pretty good space, right? Yeah, you have glass over your head. Okay. See that? And then this... Okay. Yeah, if you sit in the middle seat, you don't have much headroom because you've you got yeah. the spine, right? Yeah, I didn't think of this half before when I was thinking about the bench being a nice uh, solution. Yeah. But, but that would, uh, yeah, you're going to be a kid or something to be there, I think. So. Yeah, well, that's... that's yeah. This is quite it's good. high. It's quite yeah, no, it's lots, of, there's lots of headroom in this car. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's only going to go a certain way. It doesn't go a full way. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's much bigger. See how much bigger that is? You know, you can put golf much wider than two. Yeah, you can put golf clubs in this one, but you can't in the S. The S well, is too small. But this yes. one you can. If you take the driver out, you can put golf bags. Just going to say, maybe a Sunday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> small children too. Yeah. You see the trunk space? So lift that up. Push the groove part. Push that one in. And then Push the groove part in. There you go. Yeah, yeah so you had it. See like that. So this is why I, I want to see this is what it comes with, is the charging cable. Yeah, see how much all the adapters. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. You can actually take this out if you want. And then you can just... Yeah. From here, it won't... Yeah. Push the button. Yeah, and then push it again. Push it. There you go. It unlocks the seats. There you go. 
So, sorry, that was this thing. That lifts straight this out? This one, you can, you can actually take it out completely. If you it want. actually has two positions. So it has that first one, or you can actually go one down lower, too. This, so this will sit flat. Yeah. But if you so pick it up, it will actually go down lower, too. You can put it down here if you want. Nice. Very, very nice. What's this say down here? Those are your tethers for the child seat. Lift up that yeah. bottom flap. What's that? that? Bottom flap. No, grab that. Yeah, okay. lift that. Yeah. Look underneath. Yeah, yeah. So those are the clips for the child seats. Yeah. Oh, okay. Check them back in. 